Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate my great process that I do and we're going to time it exactly how long the freeze dryer takes to do this load. I got five pounds of red grapes, they were on sale 99 cents a pound, and five pounds of green grapes, which I had to pay full price for. So we're going to blanch these, and as I blanch them, and I'll show that on the video, I'm going to do them in small lots, and then I'm going to dip them into my ice water here, which is a bowl full of ice and water, to cool them down quickly, because we don't want to cook the grapes, we just want to blanch them for 30 seconds or so. I'll show you how to tell when they're ready. And then we're going to cool them down real quick. And then we'll take them out and let them dry a little bit before we uh, stick them in the freezer. So, let me get this camera over to my pot, which is boiling. And we'll get the process going. Okay, so, my water's boiling there. I'm going to take a handful, a couple of handfuls, and throw them in the pot. Make sure I just dump a bunch of them in there. Now this water's got to come back up to a boil. And we'll see the magic. In the canning instruction for grapes, it says, to let, and this was for green grapes, so I don't know about red grapes. It said to uh, put your grapes into the uh, boiling water to obviously the temperature will drop in the boiling water so bring it back to a full boil and then boil for 30 seconds if the uh, red grapes perform the same as the uh, green grapes what happens is at about 30 seconds they start floating a watched kettle never boils that's what they say <laughs> Yep, they do start to float because there's one that's floating now. I'm just going to scoop them out as they come to f up to the top. I'm going to scoop them out and pop them into the uh, cold water. They'll start all coming out here real quick. So, see how they're coming up to the top there? That means they're ready. Easy peasy Japanesey. No cutting in half, no poking holes. There, here they come.
there you have it. Now I'm going to press on with the red grapes and then I'll show you the green grapes. Okay, here we're ready to do the green grapes and it's going to be the same process. The wa water's boiling. I'm just going to put some grapes in there. they start to come up. An observation there on the red ones I noticed that as they came up quite a few of them had split skins which is not going to affect the taste of it or anything, but these greens seem to maintain their skin better than the red ones do. We'll see how they come out in the freeze dry. Of course, I already know how the green ones will come out. They'll come out delicious. But I haven't done red yet. And I'm just scooping these out and putting them in my bowl of ice water with a strainer in it. Cooling them down real quick. Like I say, we're not trying to cook them. Just blanch them. And there you have it. They have all floated to the top. So I'll continue with the rest of the green grapes off camera and... Oh, there's one there. I see one. I missed. And the next time you see them, we'll be, I'll tray them up and weigh them up. Okay, so that was really painless. Let's see. I started my defrost on the freeze dryer when I started these grapes. And it has been one hour and 39 minutes. So it didn't take long to prep all those uh, grapes. Ten pounds of grapes. Well, one hour and 39 minutes. But let's get this. Uh, we'll start with the green ones here. We'll just spread them out here. Put two and a half pounds per tray. Is the plan. What I did was I... Boil, brought these all to a boil when they floated I uh, when they floated yeah what was I saying? When, I, when they floated I scooped them out put them into ice water after they had cooled down inter interestingly enough they sunk to the bottom of the uh, cooling down bowl which was pretty cool I thought and then I strained them with a strainer for a little while. What are we up to? 1.7. And now we're going to tray them up. 1.8. 2 pounds. 2.2. Two point four, two point five. Spread those out a little bit. Now they are a bit soft. You don't want to crush them now because they've been blanched. All right, then we're going to stick that in the freezer till it's frozen solid. Let me do a red one. I think the red ones got a little bit softer than the green ones. Like I said, I haven't done these red ones before, so it's all a 
learning experience. Definitely softer than the greens. Hopefully that won't make a difference in the freeze dry process. Point five, near enough. Yeah, these are a lot softer. Okay, stick that in the freezer, and I'll do the rest off camera. And next time you see them, they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer, and I'll let you know how long it took. Okay, so I wanted to show you that my grapes are in here, doing looking pretty good, but it's eight o'clock at night. And we've gone to final dry, and that is going to be on, going for nine more hours. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four. So five, fifteen in the morning, this is going to finish. And right now we are at twenty-four hours. Well, five fifteen in the morning, I'm getting ready for. Well, actually, five fifteen, I'm out the door, on my way to work. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to add 12 hours which will be when I get home from work but I wanted to show you that I'm adding this and it would have been ready at 5 o'clock in the morning let's see 9 plus 12, 19, 21 hours, yes. So when I get home tomorrow, we'll uh, get cleaned up and then I'll pop these out and we'll do a taste test. But I want to show you that I am adding time to that and they are looking pretty good in there. See you then. Okay, so it's now quarter past three in the afternoon. Had a really long day at work. But this is gone for 44 hours. Militors are down to about 250, so that looks pretty good. Should be pretty dry. So let's cancel this and let's get them out of the freezer. Okay, so there you have it. That is 10 pounds of grapes. Roughly five pounds of the uh, red and five pounds of the green. Do a little taste test on that. See how they look? That one did split a little bit. Definitely nice and crispy. There's the green one. You do get a little bit of frothing on those green ones, but that just rubs off if you don't like the look of it. See what that tastes like. Oh yeah. Nice and crispy. Just like it should be. So, 44 hours. Okay, so, there you have it. I just want to show you how dry these are. Let's pick one up. See? That was the green one. Let's pick a green, red one. Dry. 
fell. You know, these packaged up, and we'll put them away. I think I might do these, at least some of these, in a pint mylar jar. Not pint mylar, but a pint uh, mason jars, and put some on my desk, computer desk there, and I can snack on these. But very good. Very good. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate your thumbs up and subscribing. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers. You are appreciated. And I thank you very much for taking the time to subscribe and watch my videos. I'll see you in the next one.